Bacteria are everywhere and on everything, and food is no exception. But most bacteria are harmless, and in the lab I'm researching one of them to get to know it better. Hi, I'm Tamsin Stambro from CSIRO, and today I'm going to show you the research I'm doing on meat spoilage. We all encounter Pseudomonas bacteria every day. It's a very common bacteria, but we know very little about it. The Pseudomonas that grow on meat are harmless, but they cause the meat to go off. This is known as spoilage. Refrigeration slows down bacterial growth and makes our food last longer. But when meat is not refrigerated, or fridge temperatures are too high, bacteria can multiply and break down the meat rapidly. Acids and other wastes also spoil the meat and make it taste bad and smell funny. Here are some pieces of meat that I incubated at 30 degrees overnight instead of putting in the fridge. Yuck! By studying the bacteria that make meat go off, we hope to find ways to make meat last longer and be able to recommend better control conditions to prevent this contamination in food processing. First we place it in the laminar flow and use a flame torch to know we are starting with a sterile sample. We prepare it by cutting it up and blending the meat. This makes it into a runny paste that we can portion out into these syringes. Then I measure it out into these vials. Now I add the Pseudomonas bacteria to the meat paste. And screw the lids on and they're ready to go. Then the samples go in the incubator. To simulate the conditions of poor refrigeration, we store the samples at eight degrees for four days. If your fridge at home is running at five degrees or below, then it will be storing food safely. We are then ready to find out what the bacteria have done to the meat using this machine, a gas chromatograph mass spectrophotometer. This machine measures the smelly chemicals made by the bacteria as they grew on the meat. The different chemicals are shown here on the chart as peaks, and if we zoom in on the peaks, we can read exactly what these chemicals are. These are the results of one of my samples. We can see that this Pseudomonas bacterium produced a lot of sickly, sweet-smelling chemicals known as esters. One of the things we may be able to do in the future with this research is to develop packaging that tells us if the meat is spoiled before we take it out of the fridge to cook. Most of our foods, including meat, are never free of bacteria. But correct storage and refrigeration are easy ways to slow down spoilage so we can enjoy our favourite foods 